Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tremaine and today I'm back with a new video. Do I look like a news reporter? A little bit, don't I? So hi guys, welcome, happy new year. I know I'm over a month and a half late. Well, is it almost, what day is it? I know I'm late, but I still wanted to start this video off by telling you guys happy new year. And I hope that God blesses everybody with love, health, success, and everything you deserve to have. So I decided to start this year off with a q and A. I already have i think 20 or 23 videos on my channel um and i'm like and i was thinking you know let me do something different to start this uh this year off because um i haven't really been consistent with my channel but i plan on doing that this year to post more videos do more collabs because i think most of my videos you only see my best friend she also has a new channel and I think I dropped two old videos where I did one with my uh, friend Matthias where we did the whisper challenge and one with Silas. She's also a YouTuber. She cooks very good. So I have to, I have to make an appointment with her so I can eat again because her food is good. But other than that, I haven't really done videos with other people. Oh wait, I do have a video with um, my friends where I did a makeup tutorial video with them but that is an old video so this year I'm gonna do more collabs so like I said I'm gonna start off with a Q&A uh, for this video for this year but I also want to do a little catch up with you guys but I think I'm gonna do that in another video well so I did a makeup tutorial on this like I got ready filmed that so I'm gonna drop that after this video but um yeah Let's start this q and If you're new to my channel, again, welcome. I hope you guys will love it here. Definitely subscribe to my channel on my way to, let me see, 100 subscribers. I think I have like 95 right now. So um, my goal is to get to 100. Uh, for the people that don't know, I used to have another channel. It's still up there. I think I left two or three videos on there, but you guys can definitely um check those videos out too but subscribe to this one this one only and if i will use that old cha old channel in the future i will let you guys know so i used to drink water but today i have a grape soda i just finished a little snack snack so i'm gonna drink my soda so get yourself something to drink eat and then we're gonna start with the q a I went to uh, this website where they had a bunch of questions for new YouTubers or people that already do YouTube but I was like you know what I like these questions I think this is also a fun way to let you guys know some more about me and also let you guys know some fun facts about me not too much not too much you will you guys will get to know me more you know with my videos but for now we're gonna start off with these questions Okay, let's see. The first questions are a little bit like the standard questions, but I can do them. So the first questions are, what's your name and where are you from? So my name is Tremaine and I live in Holland, which is in Europe. And I live in Amsterdam, best city of the country, okay? And the reason I say that is because it's very multicultural. You have different people from different ethnicities. Whoa, whoa, whoa people from different countries and i really like that i myself am from south america and um i really love it here i do how many siblings do you have okay so i have like blood blood siblings and i also have step siblings i have a stepdad he also has children so i include them as well i don't just do the ones that are by blood because you know you cannot choose your family but you know what I mean, like if you're, we don't have to be blood to be related, to be family, if you get what I'm saying. But let's see, um, let me not say their names out loud because they might want to be private. So, okay, let me see. Um, I have eight. Yeah, I have eight 
siblings. Eight. Yes. You see, is this your first channel? No, this is my second channel. Um, the old channel still up there, but I created this new channel because my old channel, somebody was promoting my channel, but I saw that they bought um, subscribers. I didn't like that, so I started this new channel. What is my channel about? Okay, so mostly lifestyle, health, um, God. I'm definitely gonna talk more about my relationship with God. And I'm just gonna do vlogs and beauty. And when I talk about beauty, I don't necessarily mean makeup. Like I can do my own makeup, but I'm not a makeup guru. What I do love, and I will say I'm a mini expert in it, is perfume. I like perfume, nice body creams and stuff. So that is definitely something I will be posting about more. So yeah, so lifestyle, vlogs, beauty, thank God. What inspired you to make YouTube videos? Um, you know, I always watch YouTube videos of other vloggers and I really like their videos and I thought, you know, they're fun and the chances they did, the chances they did I was like, okay, I like that, I can do that too. So, and I, I feel like I'm very entertaining myself. I know that I am able to make people laugh, like my friends, my family. Whenever they're down, I'm always able to give them a good motivational speech, but also to make them laugh. And I think, you know, I, I thought to myself, why not share it with the rest of the world, you know? Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Um, okay, so I watch Truth Unedited a lot. Uh, I like Glamour Sante, I like Kyra Omnique, uh, Alia Space, Alia J. Uh, let me see. I'm subscribed to a bunch of YouTubers, but I, I think those people, those, the people I just named are the people I watch most. Um, and I watch a lot of uh, videos of people that talk about God. Yahuwah, you know, I'm not gonna lie, through YouTube, especially through the edited, I learned so much. So I like to watch YouTubers that I can learn from, not just people that are entertained, that I can laugh from about, you know, and, and like, oh, I can shop there. So, no, I like to learn. So those are some YouTubers that I can definitely learn from. Have you ever met someone famous? Yes. Um, I think from what I can remember, the first celebrity I met was the singer Lloyd. I used to be a big, big, big fan of Lloyd. I, I used to, I was in love with him. And it was so crazy because, so I had a, I have a, so I like men with long hair, okay? And he used to have long hair and I was crazy about it. And then he cut his hair off. And I remember that I was on Twitter and I, I was tweeting him like, why did you cut your hair? Why did you cut your hair? And I went to a show of him where he still had his long hair. And I think maybe the next day he, he cut off his hair. And then, um, he tweeted me back and then he sent me a DM and he followed me till this day. He follows me on Twitter. So yes, I loved him so much. And so I met him. Um, I met some you know, famous Dutch people, soccer players, uh, musicians, but like people from Hollywood. Mm. So Lloyd, the oh, Snoop Dogg. I met Snoop Dogg at uh, the airport. When I used to work at the airport, I met him. And DJ, uh, what's his name? Oh my gosh, what's his name? I'll put his name up here, but I met him as well. If you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? Um, definitely my grandmother's death. I, if I could, you know, go back in time and maybe prevent certain things, I would definitely do that. I would, I really like that is the only thing I would probably do. I don't. There's definitely some things that happened in my life that I'm not happy about, but if I could change certain things regarding my grandmother, so she could still be alive and be here with us, I would definitely change that or go back in time to do that. Have you ever been in the snow? Okay, the this is to me it's a duh. It's not even a yes, it's a duh. I live in Holland. I in Holland we experience all four seasons. We definitely have snow, rain, hail, sun, everything. So yes, I have snow, like it was snowing maybe two weeks ago, so yes. Do you like scary movies? No, I don't like, I like thriller, I like action, I like comedy, but I don't like scary or horror movies. And the horror movies they make nowadays, like they're not, I don't get scared that easily, I might be shocked a little bit, but no, I don't like scary movies. 
last movie you watched? Um, I think it was Aquaman. Was it Aquaman? Yeah, I think it was Aquaman. Have you ever cried during a movie? Absolutely. The last movie I cried and like, like when I say cry, I mean tears, snot, was um. Oh my god, what's the, movie, what's the name again? Ah, I remember it. When They See Us, that movie. I forgot the name of it so long ago, but that movie... I cried because, first of all, it's based on a true story and I really, really, really hate what happened to those five boys or men, but they were boys when it happened to them. But when I saw that movie, I had to... I, I, I was happy that I watched it when it was during the weekend because I was so upset and my eyes were really puffy but when they see us was the last movie that really 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 made me cry. Are you in love? <laughs> right now I am not in love. Uh, Have you ever broken a bone? No. No, no, no. Thank God, no. Favorite vacation destination? Um... Let me see, because the last couple of years I've traveled a lot. Uh, I, let me see. It's either Dominican Republic or Egypt. I really like those two countries. Um, but Mexico was fun too. But I think Dominican Republic, I would definitely go back there. I, I would live there if I could. When is your birthday? Oh, my birthday is November 9th. Um, Last year, when I celebrated my birthday, I had a party. I like to celebrate my party, my birthday, because that's a way to see my loved ones, you know, because everybody is busy and busy. And I'm like, okay, you know what? If I can bring all my loved ones in one place at one time, it will probably be during my birthday. So I love celebrating my birthday. But November 9th is my birthday. What is your height? Uh, I think I'm 5'6". I'm pretty tall. I have long legs. But I'm either 5'6 six or 5'6 five, six and a half. I thought I was 5'7, but I'm not. I'm a little bit shorter than that. I, that but I believe I'm 5'6. Because, that, yeah, I'm 5'6. I'm not 5'6 and a half. I'm 5'6. Do you have any pets? Not yet. I want a dog. I want a Rottweiler or a uh, pit bull. But I don't think you're allowed to have pit bulls here in Holland. But I would definitely get a Rottweiler. I also want to go fish. Do you believe in zodiac signs? Absolutely not. I do not believe in zodiac signs. Whenever somebody, you know, when I'm having a conversation with somebody and they're like, oh my god, what's your sign? I'm like, what is that? I don't do that. My sign, I'm a child of God. That's my sign. I don't do horoscope and all those weird things. What's a talent you have? <laughs> well, well, I don't know why I did a little awkward laugh, but I one of my talents i'm really creative i'm definitely creative and i can i'm good at solving problems but another thing i'm good at is singing i used to sing a lot and that was i used to have um well, i wanted to be a big singer but there was this stupid thing that held me back and it was my stage fright because i'm even though i'm doing this you doing youtube videos and stuff and um you know, I'm I'm really social, but I'm also very shy. Only if I'm comfortable with you, I will talk a lot and do everything like, yay, be the be the, the funny person of the group. But I'm very shy, so that the stage fright, the shyness, has definitely blocked some things for me in the past. But not anymore. Not anymore. No, no. What's your favorite alcohol drink? Um. My favorite alcohol drink, I don't really drink like that anymore. When I say like that, I mean I don't drink a lot of alcohol anymore. But I do like amaretto. I like sweet drinks. So I like amaretto because you can mix that. And um, I also like champagne, Asti by Martini. Nothing fancy, but Asti, like I said, I like sweet things. So Asti, I like those. So amaretto and Asti, that, those two are my favorite drinks non favorite non-alcoholic drink water i drink a lot of water i drink at least three bottles a day but um and i also like fernandes it's a Suriname soda put a picture up right here 
and I like the, the yellow one, pineapple. That's I like pineapple drinks. So, favorite musician. Okay, so <laughs> I don't have a favorite musician anymore. Uh, when I was younger, I used to have a couple of favorite musicians, but they're all dead. So that's why I, I, I kind of learned to let that part go of having a favorite singer or actor or whatever. But I can share with you guys who I really used to love. So my favorite musicians used to be um, Whitney Houston, Michael Jackson, Michael Jackson, Prince, and Tupac. Those four were my favorite musicians. Okay, I knew everything. Okay, let me say 88% of each artist, I knew all the songs. But I don't have a favorite artist anymore because that's like, I don't have idols. Uh, that's also part of my um, learning journey, you know, about, not, how do you say it? Like me learning more about God, you shouldn't have any idols. Like I have people that I respect, I look up to, but I don't idolize them. But those four artists, I used to really, really be a big fan of them, but they're not here anymore, you know? But I do respect their craft, their artistry, their music and everything. But now I don't really have a favorite artist. There are a couple of artists that I really love to listen to, but I don't have a favorite artist. But I can name some artists that I like. Um, I definitely like, my favorite genre of music is gospel. I love gospel music. But I try not to listen to it. <laughs> well, I used to listen to the gospel music when I'm at home because when I'm outside, I cry. When I listen to gospel music, I cry. You know, worship songs, they make me very emotional. And I don't cry because I'm sad. It's just the overwhelming love and grace and power and mercy of God that takes over and I just get emotional. But I love gospel music and um, my faithful, favorite favorite the gospel artists that I really love the artists that I really love to listen to are definitely Donnie McClurkin um, Nathaniel Bassey uh, I like CC Winans and Juanita Bynum all her old songs I don't know if she has new songs but I listen to her old albums a lot I really love that especially when I get ready I listen to gospel music and um, when it comes to other genres I like because believe it or not I like rap I really do one of my well, I'll say one of my favorite rap artists are Ace Hood and Tusi. I really like to listen to those two I like Tank I like Chris Brown I like Joe I like old school R&B I went to a R&B concert in December really enjoyed it so all the old school R&B singers and groups, I like them, you know, SWP, Next, um, Joe the CK St. Jojo, Boys to Men, I like those, um, who else, yeah, that's it, yeah, that's it for now, <laughs> otherwise I'm gonna talk about it for a long time, okay, favorite TV show, I don't really shows I don't really watch shows I like when I watch shows it's usually educational shows like educational is that what I, say right? I think so just shows that you can learn from I don't watch American shows like that I do watch American series that's a difference that's a difference so and that, the next question is actually what are your favorite series um let me see I'll, I'll I like Sisters, Sisters from Tyler Perry. I like uh, All the Queen's Men. It's a little, mm, it's not for children to watch, but I, the storyline is good. Cause like I said, I like action, so I watch that. And I also really like Insecure from Issa Rae, but it, 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 it got, they canceled, it didn't cancel, but it stopped, but I really like that. And sorry, I watched, um, let me see, what else did I watch? How to Get Away with Murder, Scandal. Mm, what else? What else did I watch? I don't know. Oh, and Power. Power. Power and BMF. Yeah. What food do you love most? Everything that my mom cooks. Okay, let me do four more. 
these these are some funny questions but i don't think i have to be answering one of some of the questions that they have here because it's not really a q a for people to get to know me like okay you know what let me do a couple of these funny questions um do you believe in love at first sight yes i believe in love at first sight would you rather have an american or british accent british you know i really like to talk to my friends with an accent you know um i'm not a not a pro at it but once i start you know and i do it <laughs> I, I would probably want a British accent. I just think it's funny. When I went to London uh, in December, I when I was talking to the people, when you do it yourself or you watch series, you know, you can understand the people. But when you're in the country yourself and the people talk to you, you have to really listen because one of the girls at the hotel was, was, she was talking to us and telling us about our room and the services they have. And I did not understand. Me and my cousin were looking at each other like, oh, what is she saying? But I do like a British accent. Have you done any cosmetic surgery? Never, I've never had surgery in my life. Would you date your best friend? No, friends are friends. No, and I, my good friends, I consider them family, so I would never date any of my friends. The last thing that made you cry? Well, I cry when I listen to the gospel music, but that, yeah, I, I'm gonna say the gospel music, but I wasn't sad or anything. It, I just got emotional because of the music, but the last thing that made me cry, I don't know. I don't, I don't have a lot of those moments, unless when I'm talking to God, when I'm praying, but there hasn't been a situation that made me sad and made me cry, so I, I don't know. Let me do two more. Um, what is this? Oh, okay. These I can answer these two. What is the best thing about YouTube and what is the worst thing about YouTube? Okay, the best thing about YouTube for me, mm, I'ma say you get to learn things. And like I said, I well now I I just mentioned Truth Unedited. And that is one of the YouTube uh, channels I watch a lot every week. And I've learned so much watching the, his video. So that is one of the best things from YouTube. You can definitely learn a lot. And the worst thing about YouTube for me as a new YouTuber um, is to stay motivated to keep on uh, putting out videos because I'm still a small YouTuber. So I'm not gonna have big views yet. Of course, that is what I want. But sometimes when I see that I like maybe only have 100 uh, views. I feel a little bit like mm, maybe I shouldn't do it. Maybe I should stop. But I think that is something everybody goes through when you first start doing YouTube. But I don't hate YouTube, so I wouldn't say it's the worst thing. I would say it's the most challenging thing to stay motivated and be consistent. But I am working on that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here with the questions um i see more questions that i like and i see some q a's for um like the two way do with somebody else like your best friend or sibling so i think i'm gonna wait for that when i do another um q a with somebody else but i think you guys have a little info about me now um if you guys want to know more of course you can leave it in the comments or you can send me a dm on instagram and then i might do another video where i do or answer some um questions the reason i'm looking like this i might you guys might be like why is she looking like that i do not have all my glasses and uh, obviously i don't have glasses on and i don't have the best eye sight is that what you call it so i'm trying to look at my screen like is everything still recording but i think it is i yeah i think it's fine but thank you guys so much for watching my video i hope you guys liked it if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel and drop a comment if you want to and definitely put on your notifications when you subscribe and i will see you next time stay safe